Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about hearing and listening. I talk to a lot of people a day. Some days I'll talk to 20, 30 people on the phone. So I always listen to, to how they present their, their conversation and their issues and what they're trying to do. And the first thing I always try to do is, is this customer or client hearing or listening? And let's talk about some definitions, at least the definitions I use with people to see where they're at there. Hearing is just really acknowledgement or recognition of a source, a noise, a sound. You really don't carry it any farther than that. Uh, we've been filming videos here in the studio and with this hurricane uh, situation down here, uh, we have air raid sirens being tested and, and we're just hearing that. Well, I mean, we're not, I'm not listening uh, uh, for that. I'd like to get rid of it completely because it's noise, but I'm acknowledging that there's something out there, there's some sound source generating sound and energy that I don't like, okay? But listening is a little bit more critical. If we were listening to that air raid siren, we'd break that air raid siren down into noise or music. We'd look at the parts of that air raid siren's component, frequency response, and we'd really listen to the individual parts. I don't know why one would do that, but I use it for purposes of illustration here. So we have to listen to the parts. That's the key. So what are our parts? Well, the two main parts are the fundamentals and the harmonic, the note, the middle C on a piano, and all the succeeding uh, harmonics that go with that. We're going to do a a video coming up on fundamentals and harmonics. We will go into that a little bit uh, deeper. So listening, we're going to go one step farther then. We have our fundamentals and harmonics. Then we're going to break the fundamentals and harmonics, actually the, the fundamentals, up into lows, mids, and highs into three parts. Let's just use three. A lot of graphs and charts have a lot of different parts, but I think for purposes of illustration here, we'll just use three. And let's make it easy on ourselves because this is hard for people to do. Let's just use lows below 100, mids from 100 to 1,000, and then highs from 1,000 to 10,000. I always like this 1,000 because I, I can't even whistle anymore, but I used to have a 1,000 cycle whistle. So that's how I always uh, would test equipment with. When I go into a studio, I'd whistle. And then, you know, if I had 1,000, 800, 850, 900, I knew we had some pretty good uh, balance in the room. So an unobtrusive measure of, of sound, so to speak, by whistling. So measure your whistle, use that as a guideline. Measure your voice, get the frequency response of it. You get some basis, some reference, some baseline of comparison. With the lows, it's all about attack and decay. Mids, it's definition and separation. And the highs, it's about the air and the ability of, of everything to move in space real easily. So I like to think of the highs as, as the feathers. They're really light. They float. You get diffusion assigned to them properly, and you can really make them float the way you want to. So I hope that helps hearing and listening. Think about it. You know, we do it every day. Uh, I think we do more hearing every day than we do listening. Um, and I try to listen to all my clients uh, when they talk on the phones but sometimes I'm just hearing them, okay? But listen to the music without hearing the room. Remember that saying, that's what we want to do. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.